way I put Angela Yee. I'm Angela Yee, and Mano's in the building. New Mano! It's a judgment free zone, right? Yeah, you can't judge anyone with all them secrets. I mean, people need the truth. 800 292 5150 is the number. Anonymous caller, what's your secret? So, my secret is. <clears throat> One of my best friends, girls, was trying to talk to me, and mm. I didn't tell him yet. I got the screenshots and everything, but just like, you understand what I'm saying? Like, what do you really do in that kind of situation? Wow. Do you tell him? Because would you wanna... I know Mano, you going to understand what I'm saying. Would you want to know Mano? Like... Want to know what? One of your best friend's girls is trying to talk yeah, to you? he has the screenshots, yeah. he has evidence, but... And are you are you trying to talk back to her? No, no, never. That. All right, I'm so you shouldn't... Yeah, first of all, if this is your best friend, this is like your brother, you should have some type of... You know, you should stand on some type of moral code when it comes to something like that. You should let them know if you feel like that. What did she say in these messages? I just want to know. She was like, oh, <clears throat> I always wanted you. She was basically saying, like, you know, you know how you first meet a group a group of friends and I guess she didn't make the right pick the first oh, time. Oh, she chose the wrong one. That's the worst. Right, but yeah, but if this is your brother, then I would tell him because at the so end of the day... Is, I've been I've been in the situation... See, all right, I'm not even trying to, like, no cocky stuff or nothing like that, right? So I'm that friend in the group. This kind of stuff always happens to me mm. all the time. So we're just like, you know... I told one so you of my the, other you the, you the nigga that, 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 that all the girls want. He's the catch. You the <laughs> yeah, catch. And I, I, I <laughs> <laughs> and I be chilling for real. I be chilling. I don't need to be doing nothing for real. I, I'm just myself. Like, you know what I mean? I don't really be... I don't okay, really be we see like you. That. Well, let me so. ask you this. <laughs> You think, because huh? sometimes in situations like that, people be mad at you. Like, well, what did you do? Right, you, yeah. and she can reverse the situation. Don't sleep with your right, man. Right, right, right. If that's your homie, don't sleep with your homie girl, bro. Nah, never that. Never but he's that. wet. Should I, I tell him that she's coming on to me? Yeah, I mean, at the end of the and day, the if she is, this keep is not doing... Even, not even, this, this is not even the first time, though. Not to cut y'all. This, this is not the first, second, or third. I would tell him because he don't need no girl like that. If this is your brother, then he should know what type of girl he's dealing with. Because if she doing well, that with is, you, I tried to tell one of my other boys, and I even showed him evidence. He was like, "Nah, bro, that's fake. You sitting there trying to talk to her." Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, "Oh man," but he the type of dude. He don't really, he don't really got no game like that. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I don't just hang out with dudes just because they got something going on. But he the type of guy. He don't really got no game like that. So when he do get a girl, like man, you know what I'm talking about. No, 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 no. Don't be don't, devastated. Yeah, don't put your dog down, though, homie. Don't get on the radio and put your dog nah, down. Don't, don't, don't get on this honest. radio. Do not get on this radio and put your homie down. And do not do not sleep with your homie girl. <laughs> I'm not doing that. Stand just, on I'm, business, I'm, man. But it's really just about married. telling him or not. Do I tell, tell him? Tell him. Yeah. Tell him because she ain't no good. He ain't no good. But, you know, it's going to hurt his feelings. And then what if he still stay where he going to feel so and stupid? And that's his business. <laughs> you know, if he's, if your conscience is clear, you did you did a friendly deed. You know, I mean, you, honestly, if, you know what you should ask him? Real? You should be like, listen, would you want to know if there was something that was a not great going on? You know, if, if this was happening, would you want me to tell you or would you rather not know? Ask him. I would want to know. Right. Ask him. Did, and then it's his decision too. if he wants to know. No, I would but just tell him straight up because this if this is your friend, this is your brother, I would just tell him this is the type of girl that you got. She ain't no good, bro. I'm just thinking about, I know this guy and he started dating one of my friends, mm -hmm. but she was mm -hmm. talking to somebody else and he told me, he was like, I don't even want to know. Like, he liked her so much, it didn't even matter. He didn't want to know. It'd be ask, depressing sometimes. Yeah, ask him. Be like, look, your girl, you know, she did something a little, What do you want me to tell you or would you rather not know? Is it going to matter? You know, and then not think it listen. Can I tell y'all something else before we go? I just found out something else too. What? Like you know, they just and this, this is what's going hurt right here. So you know, they just had a kid and stuff like Ooh. that. Oh, so, man. yeah. Oh, so check this man. out, right? Check this out. So one of my other boys, you know what I'm saying? Because my um my other man, he be playing basketball with his boys and stuff like that. So I guess I guess who my who my brother played ball with. His girl, his baby mom, was messing with one of the bulls on the court the whole time they was in a relationship. Like I'm talking about, like unprotected, all that. You know what I'm saying? So I'm yeah. like dying. Yeah, you, like, might, you know what I'm saying? You it's might like, want to pull your homie up, man. Yeah, I'm, I might just call him after those, John. Yeah, yeah. Call. And let him and let him know yeah. what's going yeah, on. Yeah, it's a lot. All right, well, thank you for calling. Thank y'all. See you later. All right, Mano. Hey, anonymous caller, how are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. You want to tell me and Mano a secret? No judgment, anonymously. Yeah. So I had borrowed my sister's car. And as I was driving, I knocked off her side view mirror. And I've had the car for a week now, and I have not told her yet. And I think what I'm going to say is that someone just did a hit and run, and I have no idea who did it. Why don't you fix it? Right. Just get it fixed. Because uh, I can't afford it. 
You shouldn't have been driving it. <laughs> yeah, I don't really know what to do. Do you know how much it costs to fix it? Have you checked into it? I did. I think it's like $400. It's a lot more expensive than you would think. Mm, that is a lot, four hundred dollars. I understand that, but you you gonna lie to your sister after you got her? So she got to uh, Yeah, fix you got You kind of got to tell the truth on this one, but it's not her asking for advice. She's just telling us a secret, nah, so well, I'm I can't her what it is. tell her what to do. I'm telling her what to do. So you so you you're sure you're gonna lie, or are you trying to figure it out? Don't lie. Oh, I think I'm gonna lie. I think I'm gonna lie. I mean, what? <laughs> What's the worst that can happen? Uh, the truth, the truth, of, the the truth will come out one day. But I'm gonna ask, let me ask you no, one more thing. No. Let me ask you this though: Aren't you still responsible, even if it wasn't your fault because it was in your possession? Uh, technically, but my other plan was to just drop the car off at home, pretend like that didn't happen to me, and park it in the street. Oh man! And think, man. You, you and think that someone drove by, hit it. And knocked it off. You a bad sister. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Mm, mm, mm. I still blame you, though. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, right. I think that's what I'm going to do. She's not asking for advice. She's just right. telling us. She don't even care about what I'm talking about. Right. She don't, she it don't ain't about care. right or wrong. It's she about what's about yeah. to happen. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'm doing this. I'm going to tell this lie. I don't care what you say. She got all kind of plans. All right, yeah. but thank you for calling. Way up. 